Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing with our weight loss vlog. Today we're going to go over marketing pressure on you and what makes you make those decisions to cave and buy that Ben & Jerry's when you walk into the store or go ahead and get that candy bar out of the vending machine or buy the Coke instead of taking the water. Um, so the food industry spends billions, literally billions of dollars in marketing to cause you to make decisions that will benefit them, that will make them revenue. And they like to get you addicted and they like to get you in a cycle of buying different things that they know are going to make them money. So I want you to start paying close attention to marketing pressures that you are exposed to and pay close attention to how your purchasing decisions are driven by this um, on a daily basis, okay? S because don't underestimate the power of the food industry. Again, they're spending billions of dollars to hook you onto their Doritos, onto, onto their Coca-Cola, onto their Big Mac, or whatever they come out with next, and they want you to stay hooked. Um, there's nobody out there trying to hook you onto broccoli or kale or lean chicken uh, or even lovely, although there are some egg commercials now that I see, but at any rate, for the most part, there isn't a lot of marketing for carrots. It's not happening, okay? So um, uh, the marketing pressures are for things that cause obesity and are known to be associated with obesity. Uh, and so I want you, if you're having trouble, again, with your weight and with making g the decisions that will allow you to lose weight, pay close attention to how your decisions are being driven. Because really, the American public at this point is prey easy prey, like fish in a barrel, to the food industry, okay? So, and I'm just going to go over with you a very basic little piece of information here. This is taken and stolen from the Yale Rudd Center for Obesity. They are uh, do a lot of research in what drives obesity. Um, they have done func functional MRI scans on people who are really, you know, when you hear people say, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm a carb, I love carbs, I love sugar, I, you know, so I have a sweet tooth. Um, they've done functional MRI scans on people who uh, definitely have those behavioral traits and the same gratification centers, these dopamine driven centers light up in their brain, uh, even more so than, than somebody given a hit of, you know, cocaine or heroin, um, the same, same gratification centers light up if you give them you know a milkshake a chocolate milkshake boom you know it lights up um, so very addicting very addicting food is and so how do they do this so food ads uh, and marketing in general and then you know something happens in your head and then you make a choice and the choice is either one that you're is going to help you with your weight loss or it's going to set you back in your weight loss and actually cause more weight gain. So what happens in your head that drives that drives this choice? And there are several things that the marketing companies do to do this. So these are my that's my list, okay? And I'll go through them. So one is kind of classical conditioning, all right? So silly rabbit tricks are for kids, right? We all know the second line to that little snippet. Um, so they condition, and especially the kids, kids are very susceptible to this, um, they condition you to know the response, to know the how the jingle goes. And um, that conditioning carries through when you go to the store. They see the box, they see the rabbit, doo -doo, so tricks are for kids. Ah, that's for me. So that's conditioning. They're training you to have a response. Um, the second is exposure, which is just really volume. I mean, they are just deluging. Again, billions of dollars spent. And don't be, don't forget, they are marketing to your kids when they are on their tablets, on their iPhones. They're marketing through social media. They're marketing not only in television commercials, but in every venue of social media that exists. So um, keep that in mind as your kids are on their whatever screen of choice. Um, Brand associations is much more just that kind of um, 
this singer or this actor drinks this beverage and so I want to drink that beverage because I want to be associated with that person and uh, and I want to be cool like them so that's this kind of brand association uh, that goes on and that's a little more higher level over the radar um, but then the last is I think is the most dangerous and this is called priming and these are cues that actually go below the radar you don't even think about so um, Hershey's um, had you know vending machines and they had their chocolate in the vending machines but you can't smell the chocolate through the vending machine so there is scent marketing they have made these vending machines so that they smell like chocolate oh, you don't even think about it you walk by smells like chocolate and you go oh, and I'm, now I'm a little hungry and boom they have you and you just bought a candy bar and ate it and then you're like later on at night you're like oh why did I eat that candy bar right so they have you um, and they're going at all your senses the golden arches that's a completely kind of under the radar uh, subtle cue you're primed to just know that that's fast food um, so don't be uh, misled or don't don't underestimate the power that the food industry has over your decisions on a daily basis that are either helping or hurting your attempts to lose weight okay um, so when you go into the store be very observant they will put things on the packaging um, I saw uh, hot cocoa and it was on the front of it it said a good source of antioxidants in what universe is hot cocoa a good source of antioxidants no don't fall for it put the box back um, so start to be very vigilant about the the things that they will write on the packaging and put into the marketing to pull you in to pull you in to trick you into doing making the decision that's gonna undermine your weight loss uh, it's a business they want you to spend money and they want you to spend your money buying their product and they will do a lot of things to get you to buy things that are unhealthy and addicting again because if you get kind of that if you eat Doritos and you love Doritos then you're gonna buy them they've got you you're gonna buy them every time you go to the store um, that type of response doesn't tend to happen again with things like vegetables we don't get like you know that strong gratification response to uh, to things like carrots and broccoli and there's nobody marketing if you'll notice those things aggressively to you um, because they know that you won't go eat more of those things than your body needs you to eat so start to pay close attention all right to the marketing environment that is all around you um, and work really hard and be diligent to teach your kids to not fall for the tricks um, and work really hard to to uh, um, to analyze the decisions that are going on don't make knee-jerk decisions make very very purposeful decisions about the food that you purchase and that you put in your mouth it should be for nutrition and for health and it shouldn't be because you're like, oh, that's going to make me feel good. That's if, if you know, if you get that sense already when you're going to reach for it, stop because they have you hooked. They've done it to you. They've, they've caught, they, you're on the hook. Um, okay, so I hope you're all doing well. Uh, keep up the good work and thank you very much.